The birth of your baby is supposed to be one of the most joyous moments of your a new mom's life, but for one in seven new mothers, it's a time that can be filled with sadness, loneliness, and a detachment from their newborn. Now a new blood test could revolutionize how postpartum depression is diagnosed and treated. Oh, really? Baby Maeve is Brooke Weisner's third and youngest child, and although she loves her with her whole heart now, after her birth, Brooke struggled with dark thoughts. I didn't feel about her like the way I was, I felt like I should have felt about her. It was all I could do to get out of bed. I was having some pretty significant like suicidal ideation. It took months for Brooke to get diagnosed. She was prescribed antidepressants, but nothing worked. That's why researchers at Johns Hopkins are developing a first-of-its-kind blood test that could help women like Brooke get diagnosed even before she gives birth. One of the things that we're trying to do is trying to figure out is that who's going to get sick and when they're going to get sick. Using blood samples, researchers found tiny sacs called extracellular vesicles, or EVs, that carry genetic material from the brain. What we're finding is that these extracellular vesicles are releasing things, it looks like RNAs, from the brain. Abnormal levels of these specific RNA molecules are linked to brain disorders like postpartum depression, schizophrenia, epilepsy, and addiction. Scientists believe these molecules are the biological markers they need to identify these conditions earlier than ever before. And if we can figure out which people are going to respond to what drugs, is that that would be a big deal. Treating new moms like Brooke, even before their little ones are born. The scientists warned that the findings might only apply to postpartum depression because they studied only women. In the future, researchers plan to use lab-grown brain cells to find similar markers for autism spectrum disorder.